Hello everyone, welcome to Fit Nation Fun with Friends series, Core Edition. As we begin, we'd like to acknowledge the traditional territories of the Lakwanan speaking peoples, whose beautiful land it is we're filming from today, as well as all of the traditional territories that you are on. My name is Amanda DeFay, I'm a trained Fit Nation leader, and I'm so excited to be leading this workout with you. I am Cree Métis, as well as a mixed European settler, and behind me I have fellow trained Fit Nation leaders and my good friends, Janice and Daniel. Janice, I'll have you introduce yourself, please. Awesome, thank you. Hi, my name is Janice Johnson. I am from Tishop First Nation, and I'm happy to be here today to join in this amazing workout. And um, I've been a Fit Nation uh, leader for about five years now, so I'm super excited. Let's just get this going. Awesome. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for being here, Janice. It's always so much fun with you. I love that you're my woohoo buddy. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> On the other side, I've got Daniel. If you could please introduce yourself. Yeah. So Daniel Young Mercer. I've been a Train Fit Nation leader for six years, and I'm representing the Nishka and Gitsan Nations. Looking forward to a core workout with Amanda and Janice. <laughs> awesome. So Janice is going to be doing our introductory core movements today. I'll be doing the intermediate and Daniel's gonna be making them more advanced over here. <laughs> They're gonna be pretty deadly. So I know nobody enjoys doing core, but it's so much more fun with friends, and we're gonna have a good time today. We have 15 exercises for you. We're gonna do a minute of work, followed by 30 seconds of rest. Just once through though, and before you go running for the hills, we do have some mobility exercises in there. So it won't hurt to laugh tomorrow, hopefully. No, no promises though. <laughs> All right, so as we begin, like always, we wanna start with a dynamic warm up. We're gonna keep moving throughout this. This is gonna bring our heart rate up, our breathing rate up, and get our body ready to work. So we're gonna start off with a step back lunge. So we're gonna lunge and rotate, reaching to that side, switch sides. Just stepping back as comfortable that it feels for you. This is just our warm up, it's not a competition. And I can hear Daniel breathing over here. That's a great reminder, we wanna keep breathing throughout this whole workout. Okay, and next up we have a single leg tuck. So we're gonna bring our knee up, just have a nice little hold at the top and then switch legs. Great job, everyone. As I said, we're just warming our bodies up. All right. Now the next move we're gonna do is we're gonna do a good morning. We're gonna cross our hands over the chest and lean forward, making sure to keep our back nice and straight. As we stand up, we're gonna reach, getting up on our heels. So from the side, you can see we're gonna bend over, back nice and straight. Stand up and reach to the sky. Awesome, we've got a couple more of those. And reach, one more. Making sure to breathe. All right, and we're gonna have a bit of fun with this last one. We're gonna do some hip circles, so let's <laughs> Smile as you do some, some hip circles. Bring out those dance moves. And making sure to breathe. And now switch directions. Awesome, keep it up. Okay. So we're gonna start off with crunches. We're gonna be on the ground, so you wanna make sure that you have either a yoga mat or a towel if you're gonna be working out on a hard surface. We're gonna spend the most of the time on the ground. Um, you wanna have a water bottle, a face towel, and other than that, just a big smile on your face and ready to go. This is a Fit Nation workout, so we don't need any facilities, any equipment, just some room to move around on the floor. So let's get down. We're gonna start off with crunches. I'll demo here, we wanna have our feet 
about shoulder width apart, lie back, hands behind the neck, and we're gonna raise our legs, and we're gonna crunch for one minute. Here we go. So as we do this, we wanna make sure that we're not pulling on the neck, we're really lifting from our core. So we're engaging that core, we're pulling the belly button into the spine and making sure to breathe. In through your nose and out through your mouth. This thing, we only have to do this once. Give it everything you got. We're halfway, this feels good. Keep up the great work. Now for a variation, you can see that Daniel's got his legs straight. This is gonna make it more advanced. Alternatively, if you're feeling yourself start to tire, you can bring those legs down to the ground. We've got 10 seconds left, keep it up. And three, two, one, and break. So don't get up, the next one we're gonna go into is a reverse crunch. We've got a minute of work again. We're gonna slide our hands under our back for support or at the side, whatever feels best for you. Knees are bent and we're just gonna touch it down using our core to pull it back up. Now if you wanna make this harder, you can straighten your legs or you can do one at a time, whatever feels best. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. Great job, you two. And great job to everyone watching this right now. You're doing fantastic. Again, remember to breathe. That's the biggest thing with Corey. You find yourself holding your breath. We you don't want that. Keep breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And if you have your hands under your back, you should Feel your back pushing into the ground as you do this. You don't want to have any gap there. So we're more than halfway. We've got 20 seconds left. Awesome. Woo! Keep up the good work. Your core should be talking to you. <laughs> this is why we're doing it together. On three, two, one, break. 30 seconds, have a quick sip of water here. Maybe if you're starting to get a bit sweaty, you can wipe yourself down. Our next one we're gonna do is a cross body crunch. So we, again, have our feet up, and we're just touching that knee as high as we can go, making sure, again, that we're not pulling on our necks. We're using our core to go across. All right, gang, let's do it. Here we go. 60 seconds of work, cross body crunch. Awesome. Keep it up. Keep breathing. Keep your core engaged. We might be feeling this tomorrow. Hey, gang. <laughs> All right. We're at 30 seconds now, halfway. Keep up the great work. Let's do this. Say it enough, make sure to keep breathing. All right, 10 seconds left. You're almost there. Come on, all the way to the end. Woo! Three, two, one, and break. All right, our next one that we're gonna do is leg raises. Again, you can slide your hands under the back. Uh, for support or have them on the side, whatever feels good for you. And we are dropping our legs down and bringing them back up, trying to keep them as straight as we can. You can see here I've got a bit of a bend to mine that's gonna make it easier. All right, in three, two, one. Awesome job. You can see behind me that Daniel's doing an 
Awesome job of keeping those legs nice and straight. Great work, Danielle. Love what you're doing, keep it up. Janice, she's demonstrating from the chair. We've worked our core really hard here. So this is a great introductory movement to break it up. Way to go, Janice. Here we go, we've got 20 seconds left. Keep working, let's go. Keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. We've got five left. All right, and three, two, one. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's feeling good. We're gonna switch it up this time with a Russian twist. So we've got, again, feet about shoulder width apart, and we're gonna bring it side, following our hands with our eyes. And to make it a little more uh, intermediate, we're gonna lift one leg, hold it for 30 seconds, and then we'll switch. So here we go in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Again, making sure you engage that core to protect your low back. You want it to be pulling your belly button into your spine. And if you feel yourself starting to slump a little bit, just sit up a little bit higher. Great job, everyone. You are doing awesome. We've got 30 seconds, we're halfway through, and we're done with Russian twists. And we're switching legs, getting a little too excited there. <laughs> All right. Keep breathing, we're gonna get through this. This is why we do it all together. And we've got five seconds left. Let's go all the way to the end. In three, two, one, break. Now have a quick sip of water here. I know that one's challenging. So next up, we're gonna have a side plank. So we're gonna make sure that our elbow is under the shoulder. We got our feet positioned nicely and just pop ourselves up. Hand going up to the sky. We wanna push our hips up. So we're gonna hold it 30 seconds on one side and then switch. You can also do it from the knees, which Janice is gonna demo behind me. So let's go. Three, two, one, and up. All right, Janice, any jokes? <laughs> oh, man. I was counting on you, Janice. I won't even ask Daniel over there. <laughs> Any jokes, Daniel? Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Here's my backup crew letting me down. All right, we're almost at 30 seconds. Let's switch sides. <laughs> Let me guess, to do more side flings. Yes. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Make sure you've got your shoulder and elbow in alignment and that you're driving up that hip. We've got 10 seconds left on this side. Let's finish it up. In three, two, one. All right. Next up here, we've got bird dogs. So we're gonna flip on to all fours making sure our hands are under our shoulders, keeping our back nice and straight, and then we're gonna lift up, keeping our limbs straight, and bring back down. So we've still got 10 more seconds, make sure you take that rest. Make sure you breathe, and then we'll get into it. Here we go. In three, two, one. As you do this, you really want to focus on engaging that core, pushing down into the hand and knee that's on the ground, making it nice and controlled as you lift up and bring down. So we're about halfway there. Keep it up. You're doing great. Fifteen more seconds. 
All right, everyone, keep up the great work. We're almost to the end here. We've got three, two, one. Great job. The next exercise that we have here, we're gonna be lying on the ground for a super person. We're gonna be doing the same side, the same limb on one side. So we're gonna lift up just like this and then the other side. And we've got 10 more seconds in our break. Maybe you grab a quick sip of water here. And as we do this, we wanna really make sure we're going for length, not for height. So here we go in three, two, one. Let's get to work. Make sure to keep breathing in and out. Really focusing on reaching as far as you can forward. You wanna make sure your head is tucked in at all times. You're not looking up. Great job, keep it up. We're getting through. We have more than 30 seconds through, all the way to the end here. Keep going, we've got this. 10 more seconds. In three, two, one, and break. Awesome, Whew. feels good. So our next one that we're gonna do here is we're gonna be on our hands and knees. We've got our hands below our shoulders and this one's gonna be a nice mobility exercise. We're gonna reach in with our elbow to that wrist and then take it up to the sky, just as far as feels comfortable. And so we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side and then we'll switch to the other side. All right, let's try it out. Here we go, one minute of work. Oh, that should feel good. Right, Janice? Oh, yeah, it's feeling good. <laughs> feeling it now. <laughs> All right, let's switch sides. Other arm behind your head and dip down for that wrist and then up to the sky. This is great for your trunk rotation. Make sure you keep breathing throughout this. All right, last one. And three, two, one, break. Okay. We have another great mobility exercise here. We're gonna have our legs a little in front of us. I wanna make sure that our shoulders and hips are alignment. We're not leaning forward on this one. We're gonna put our arms together and we're just rotating as far as we can without letting those knees separate. So here we go. Try it out. If it feels a little bit weird, that's okay. And here we go. Opening up. Again, this is really great for that trunk rotation. Making sure to breathe throughout this, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And we're about halfway, let's switch sides here. Again, making sure we're not leaning forward. And keeping those knees together. You may find that one side you're a little bit more flexible than the other, that's okay. Keep breathing, we've got 10 seconds left. In three, two, one, and break. All right, we got some more crunches. We gave you a bit of a break, but we're back to them. This one we're gonna do a toe touch crunch. So legs up to 90 degrees, and you're leaning forward. Again, pulling from that core, and doing your best to touch your toes. So I'm gonna take that break, I need it. <laughs> and then we'll get started in less than five seconds. Legs up in three, 
two, one, let's get to work. Now you can see Daniel behind me. He's got his legs straight. That's an advanced movement. Way to go, Daniel. That's hard. Feel free to try that out. And then come on back to me, depending on how you're finding it. All right. Woo. I can feel that. Keep up the great work. Let's do this. And making sure you're engaging that core on these. You're not pulling with your neck, but instead using your core to pull up. We've got 15 seconds left. Keep going, you're doing great. Three, two, one, and break. Way to go all the way to the end on that one. I know it wasn't easy. Next up, we've got a bridge. So we're again having our feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna lie back down and we're gonna push up, squeezing our glutes at the top and then coming back down. So at the top, we're actually gonna hold it for the entire minute. Um, maybe we'll sing some songs, just have a bit of fun with it. <laughs> Here we go. One minute of work, squeezing at the top. Got your hands planted on either side and you're really driving up, squeezing as hard as you can. And breathing, of course, in and out. How you doing there, Daniel? All right. <laughs> We're at more than 30 seconds. You're almost there, 20 seconds left. If you feel yourself start to get tired, feel free to drop it down for a couple seconds and then challenge yourself and push it back up. We've got 10 seconds left. Let's go all the way. Push yourself here, you can do it. In three, two, one, whoo! Nicely done, awesome. So for this one, uh, this is one of my favorites. We're back on our hands and knees and we're going to pretend to bring our leg up like we're gonna kick our cheek and touch it with that opposite arm. So we've got just like this. Te takes a bit of coordination, but have some fun with it. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's get to work. Make sure your hands are coming below your shoulders and that you're driving in uh, with the hands and knee that's on the ground to help keep you balanced. Way to go, everyone. You're doing awesome. We're getting through this Fit Nation core workout. More than halfway. Keep breathing. Great job, everyone. Keep it up. We've got 10 seconds left. Way to go. And we're gonna take a break. Three, two, one. Awesome. You're doing great. Keep up the great work. All right, so the next one we have here is we're going to do a leg twist. Um, I'm gonna grab a towel and put it under my low back. We're just gonna drop it down side to side, making sure that we engage that core. If you wanna make it harder, check out Daniel. He's gonna be doing it with straight legs. All right, are you ready? Yes, you are. In three, two, one, let's go. One more minute of work here. Make sure you keep breathing. Awesome job. And you'll see Janice behind me. She's making it introductory by keeping her feet on the ground. That's awesome. 
absolutely love to see that, Janice. All right, halfway through. This one's a hard one, I know. Keep working, let's do this. We've got 15 seconds left. Let's try and finish all the way strong. Remember, you can take it down to the level below. Finish up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Great job. Woo, you're almost there. 14 minutes of work done. You've got one more minute of work to go. Let's flip over. We're going to do a bear crawl. And we're just going to be going up and holding. So just like this and back down. Janice can demonstrate from the side, lift up and back down, perfect. All right, in three, two, one. So as we do this, you wanna check your hand placement, make sure it's under your shoulders and that you're keeping your back nice and straight, engaging your core. My friend Daniel over there, he's holding it the entire time. That's why we pay him the big bucks. Now don't forget to breathe through this. In and out, we're almost there. All right, we're more than halfway. Keep up the great work. Make sure your head's in a neutral position. Got a long back. Finding yourself getting tired, just hang out there on the ground for a little bit. And challenge yourself, get back up. We've got 10 seconds left. Let's see a few good reps here. And three, two, one. Woo! You did it. Great job. Congratulations on completing our Fit Nation Core Edition workout. Well done. But before you go anywhere, we want to stand up and cool down. So let's just start by moving around a little bit. Maybe giving your body a bit of a shake. Again, we wanna bring our breathing rate and our heart rate down. So we're focusing on breathing here. And then when you're ready, we're gonna do a couple of stretches. Unlike when we did our dynamic warm up, we're gonna hold these stretches for 20 seconds. So let's bring our arm across making sure our shoulder is down and really focusing on that breathing. All right, and let's switch sides. Opposite arm up now. Don't forget to hydrate after this workout. Make sure to drink lots of water. Stretching not the best part of every workout or what. <laughs> Let's do our tricep stretch. So we're gently pushing our arm down. You can see that I've got my hand, I'm reaching down my back. You might not go down that far, that's okay. It all depends on your range of motion. And let's switch other arm. And again, really focusing on breathing in and exhaling all the way. All right, so our next stretch we're gonna do is a quad stretch. This always works on your balance. You're going to grab your heel. If you have a bit of trouble with your balance, you can hold on to the chair or the wall whatever works best for you. You should feel a nice stretch just in the front of your leg here. And let's switch legs. Grab that other heel. If you're wearing pants, you can also grab your pant leg too. Whatever works best. Okay, and our last stretch that we're gonna do together is a hamstring stretch. We're gonna put our leg out to the side, making sure it's nice and straight. Sink into that other leg 
and just slide our hands down to above the knee, trying to keep our back straight. And let's switch sides, other leg, slide your hands down, and you should feel a nice stretch just in the back of the hamstring. Remember, stretching should never be painful. It's very personal. You just want to feel a stretch, um, but don't want it to be painful at all. All right. Now you should feel like your breathing rate has gone down. Maybe you grab a snack after this in about 45 minutes to an hour, getting some protein in. And yeah, you did it. We got through that core workout. Great job. So we always end every Fit Nation workout with a cheer. So we're gonna put our hands in front of us, you two behind that screen, and we're gonna count down on three and then yell Fit Nation. So three, two, one, Fit Nation! Awesome. If you want more Fit Nation workouts, check out our iSpark YouTube channel. We've got awesome leaders like these two leading some incredible workouts. Go check us out and we'll see you again soon.